And hello boys and girls. This is your old pal Uncle Al, aka Die Bullfrog 79. Please like and subscribe to his channel. I uh, hit the little notification button and this is for Jet 001. And he said he wanted to hear some stories from Uncle Al. So Uncle Al's memory is not that good. And I just took eye drops from my eyes so everything's kind of blurry. I'm not wearing my glasses, so so I can't see too well. Anyway, uh, let's see what the heck was I doing? Okay, let's give a big shout out to Inside Freedom, Florida Pirate Adventures, Spirit in the Blue Sky, uh, Music Man. Flora Jungle, Welcome War Dee Dee, I think it's Dee Dee, Practical Outdoors, Reverend Guy Wallace, hello, um, RG Homestead, hello, uh, Farnell Frantic, hello, uh, Lil Nova, hello, gotta get a uh, pet pal, Lil, be a lot easier on that, uh, Judy Pepper, hello, Glorious One and Kentucky Woodsman. Okay, and then the, uh, story time. You gotta remember Uncle Alan's memory is going, so I have to use a notebook. Now let's see. And Jet One, Jet Zero Zero One, want to hear some old stories from Uncle Alan. Now Uncle Alan's not too sure if they're illusions or uh, I'm finally going you know so anyway back in 92 I did some contract work and I bought a whole bunch of things and this is Uncle Alan and the Dogs of War Uncle Alan battles on the American home front against the evil Democrats liberals and socialists with their mind control uh, masses of science freaks and devastating weird scientific weapons of the Democratic Party from walking tanks to microwave powered weather cannons to brainwash uh, chemo monsters of the Democrats. Remember 92 everything's got a little weird? Well that's Democrats for you. Uh, let's see. Can Uncle Al and the Dogs of War Save America? I wrote this down in 92. Uh, back in 92, we had Night of the Rays. They used to have uh, these guys working for the science department for Star Wars. They had X-rays and laser rays, gay rays, microwave rays. I only got hit with a couple of these weird rays, so... I don't remember too clearly. It could be a fantasy. It could be a story time. I have no idea. So it happened in, I think, September 92. Also, I think it killed the dinosaur. Somebody's mad at me. I wrote it down. And I'll try to remember it. And then here's another story. Uncle Al and the Thing from Beyond Time or L.A. It's a nice, quiet Sunday. The sky sunset is deep red when H.P. Lovecraft calls from 1926 to warn Uncle Al of an animate doom. Animate doom? You see, Lovecraft could, he's a racist, but he could also astral project into the future. So sometimes Uncle Al will talk to him. Boy, is he a racist. We don't like to call Uncle Al boy. Uh, to warn Uncle Al about immediate doom. The thing from beyond time or L.A. escapes from the future, intersecting our, our world through the 20th century. Yeah, I think it happened in 93. I'm not too sure. Uh, let's see. The free world and the universe, free world and the universe hangs in the balance as Uncle Al teams up with, uh, I forget. I wrote, uh, 
you know, your eyesight's bad, your brain's kind of bad, and a last ditch effort to protect reality as itself. Remember, I always say that your future is my past. I always keep saying that. I wonder why. Uh, also, the, there was a phrase uh, the war, dogs of war used to say. I think it was hell and lightning, to hell and lightning. Don't know why, I can't remember it. I think it's something. I'm going memories kind of. I told to a bunch of cartoon artists and they kind of laughed at me. And, and they say, well, we'll just take down notes. So Uncle Alan can't remember. Um, this is the reason why Uncle Al hates Dr. Dinosaur and Dr. Dinosaur hates Uncle Al. It's Uncle Al versus the Savage Sword of Dr. Dinosaur. Uh, Uncle Al travels to the Hollow Earth. I think that was in the 90s. I'm not too sure. It's before Kuwait. Um, to, let's see. To beat the last cowboy battles the evil Democrat scientist Dr. Dinosaur. Cybernetic time traveling dinosaur and her league of living democratic zombies. And Uncle Al teams up with the time law. Have no idea what that means. Uh, let's see. Uh, some guys in a Sherman tank. Or General Lee. I think it was General Lee. Tank. Have no idea. And just notes and stuff. It's stories that I tell the kids. They get a big laugh out of it. I would sort to Dr. Dinosaur. What the heck was that about? Anyway, that's Regit 001. That's some of the stories. I'm going, I'm not too sure if they're tall tales or his memory's going. So, uh, yeah, I don't really remember. I remember going to Antarctica, the Mc McDurdock or something from Chile to McDurdock, and then taking cargo plane to this big black hole at the South Pole. There's no ice on it. It's not the flying saucer one. It's a big hole that goes into the hollow earth. It's more like a giant cavern. Can't remember. All I remember is like a black Hitler was there. A lot of Nazis. A lot of Democrats. Anyway, remember this one? Yeah. Still have no idea who's going to win right now. Uh, let's see. I still have eight minutes. Okay, right now. Uh, I think Matt's ahead, followed by L.A. Prepper, um, and then Myra T.C.K. is third, and the leading last place is New York Prepper. Okay, boys and girls, uh, I'm not going to shut off. We're going to do a little bit knife section for the next five minutes. If you don't like knives, please change the channel. Uncle Alan's getting tired. And Uncle Alan has no idea what he's wearing right now. So Anyway, uh, let's see. L.A. Tripper is drooling for a bush knife. It's big enough to do it. It's a cheap. Um, Korean copy of the K bar. I like it. This sheaf is for decorations, not Crydex, it's cheap plastic. So if you want to use it, don't use this, get, make a leather sheaf. I think I had a leather sheaf someplace, but I can't remember where the heck I put it. Uncle Alan's memory is going bad, so he can't remember. I always have uh, cheap K bars around. Why? Because if it's a full tang and it's pinned, it still works. And it's really sharp. And you know how to gut somebody with one of these. So, like I said, I can't do three anymore. I can do one. But like I said, I'm going to getting old. And don't throw a knife, folks. When you use it, you always keep it to the side. And you want to rip through the guts. Hold it like this and go.
up to the heart. Okay. Well, I had a bigger one, but I can't remember where I put it. Uh, I have this right here, and I thought I had a bigger one, but I can't remember where I put it. That's what happens when you get old, folks. You forget things. Now, whoever wins the contest, I'm still luck. I forget how many views. I'm only up to 108, so I need like uh, 92 more. This is fairly interesting. It's like my palm deck uh, push knife, but it has uh, one of these things. It's based on the Spanish Navia. I like it. It has a yari type of blade. Uh, it's hard to sharpen, but it's pretty good for gutting. I enjoy it very much, but I thought I had a bigger one someplace. Can't remember where I put it. Yeah, it'll come up someplace. Or did I stick it in something? Eh, can't remember. I'll put that away. Yeah, I'm glad memory it's getting late. I'm glad memory's going. Okay. Normally I carry it. Uh, one of these, these are trappers, like I showed you earlier in videos. I carry a trapper. I know Walker carries one, I carry one, RG carries one. Um, I don't like the gadget knives, just too bulky. And also, I'm always cutting things. And here's my other trapper. This is a dual-ended trapper. You've got to be careful. It's damn sharp. And I carry that for my dress use. If it comes to the end of the world, Uncle Alan's going to be wearing a necktie and a nice shirt. Like I said, Uncle Alan's going to fight the end of the world in style. Now, everybody remembers this. This is my old Black Hunter. It's designed off of an old, it's not a butterfly knife. It's designed off of an old German design that they used a long time ago. And I forget who in the hell did it back in the 70s. But this is a much better knife. It's sharper, locks good. And like I said, I like it for skinning and overall uses. Just can't remember what I did with the box. Uncle Hans is getting to that point where it's gets getting late and he's kind of and then I have my old buck knife. There we go. The old 110 and this is not the new one. This one's the old scout one. Back then Boy Scouts were mean. Whoops. Thought I blacked out for a second. It's just a timer thing. I only got a couple seconds left. So anyway, this is my old Buck 10, not the new one. This is, it has finger grips. It's the old Buck 10, the old one. I carried for a long time on the belt. Well, that's about it, boys and girls. I hope you had a nice life and a good laugh. I hope you like my weird tales. I think they're tales. I'm not too sure. But anyway, I'll catch you later. You have a pleasant evening. Uh, like and subscribe to Die Bullfrog 79, aka Old Uncle L. Uh, hit the notification button. I got a lot of stories and I got a lot of things to show before the end of the world, I think. I'm not too sure. Oh, and I almost forgot. Maybe I squeeze this in a minute. Uh, please send the price of a cup of coffee to Jordan Jagenberg's account, PayPal account in Sweden and help them out. Price of a coffee. If you buy a Starbucks, what is it, 325 or 350 you can help Jordan out. He's a beginning prepper in Sweden, aka Occupied Sweden, and help him out to escape from the summer of blood. So thank you very much. You guys have a nice day.